Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Apptrepreneur, and I told you I would be back discussing hashtag PayDriversFair, and I meant it, so here we are. I mean, this is not the only video. I will have much higher quality videos. This is a podcast video, but this image in the center is, of course, very, very important, and I think most um, drivers understand at this point what the upfront pricing surge is, thanks to my video, thanks to the Rideshare Professor's video, thanks to Uberman, you know, showing my video and talking about it himself, which, uh, by the way, thanks again, Randy, I think I gained like 200 subscribers from you alone. Uh, but some people are still confused, particularly the drivers, like what does this look like on the map? And thanks to Rideshare America, who uh, does not have a YouTube channel, but has a very active Twitter account that I have been getting a lot of very useful screenshots from, uh, we now know. So this is um, the upfront pricing surge. Now, you might have noticed what the difference is, but just in case you haven't, see how it says plus $1.25, plus $1.50, plus $2, and plus $1.75, so, you know, various different things. So, what you see here is that's what the surge looks like. Now, regardless what the multiplier is, regardless how many miles you are, your passenger wants to go, if you get a ride and you are in the two plus two dollar zone you will get an additional two dollars by the way this also works in reverse you see where it says chasers right there where there's no surge let's say you get a call and that person who is calling you is in the two dollar surge zone you do not get a surge even though they are paying a surge you don't get one now by the way this could also in theory work in vice versa if you are in, again, if you're in the $2 um, surge zone and you get a call at the chasers, which is outside the surge zone, you will get a $2 surge even if that person is not, um, you know, paying a surge. So in that respect, it seems like Uber would in fact be losing, but I personally have no doubts that Uber will manipulate the trips. I bet you... When this surge comes up, you will get a lot more people from the outside of the surge zone going into the surge zone. And what I'm going to find very in fascinating is, will the people outside the surge zone notice this? Because I have driven Uber a few times where I have been in the middle of a multiplier or a multiplier surge zone has been close. And someone calls me and it's not a surge, but I look at their location and I remember it was surging there, so I don't accept it. And then sure enough, when the request goes away, where they were um, calling me, it, it was surging. So uh, Uber's already been manipulating this um, with all the other drivers. Now they're just going to manipulate it even more. But th this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And uh, yeah, it's just sad. And as I've shown with my other video and with a few future videos, I've gotten a lot of screenshots of some pay differences and they're... They're pretty bad. Um, this is what it looks like. So, uh, yeah. And as you can see, it says, earn extra on your next trip by driving to the surge area, remaining online, and accepting your next request. Now, what's interesting about that is that kind of strongly suggests that if you see a surge, surge zone, but you turn off your, your app until you get to the surge zone, because keep in mind, you have to be in the surge zone now to get the surge. You can't be outside of it and get a ride in the surge zone. You won't get a surge, so you have to go there. Does that mean if you turn the app off and go into the surge zone and then turn it back on, do you uh, not get the surge? Does Uber system pick it up and then you don't get one anyway? Um... <laughs> I wonder. I I wonder what that means. Uh, hopefully, we'll get some clarification for that. In the meantime, um, I still recommend not driving for the time being. I recommend letting Uber know why you won't be driving. Uh, if you are driving, I strongly recommend you let the passengers know about hashtag pay drivers fare. Um, and the best way to do that is to simply ask them what their fare is and ask to compare notes and show them what the difference is. And keep an eye out for other videos today. I do have a plan, or at least I've got some ideas, I should say. I'm not sure if anything I say is going to work, but we can always try. 
but I will make those videos and they will be, a, it'll be a multiple step process. Like, you know, there's not just one thing we can do to get Uber to change. There has to be multiple things and we will get to that later. In the meantime, uh, if this comes to your area, I am very, very sorry. You guys are so royally boned. In the meantime, if you enjoy this video or uh, comment below, like, share, in fact, especially share it, share this because this is very important. You need to get it out to the drivers. You have to share it with people who you know drive for Uber and might not be aware of what's going on. Share them the other videos too and let them know what is going on. Uber's in a very bad position right now um, and the last thing they want is for drivers and the public to catch on that they are screwing everyone after they've just killed a woman. So please share this video and others like it and I will see you guys later today. Hashtag pay drivers fare.